How important is happiness, joy, and fulfillment to you as an under 40? If you understand the importance of living a life full of zest and following your dream enthusiastically, you will appreciate a life of happiness, joy, and fulfillment. Julius Caesar said, A coward dies many times before his real death, but a brave man dies only once. Similarly, an unhappy, sad, and unfulfilled man dies many times before he is really dead. And if his gloom continues for a long time, he could actually die before his time. Perhaps you have been around an unhappy man. You know how irritating and unloving that can be. Not being happy, joyful, and fulfilled can fill you with so much hatred for the world and yourself. More so, it will affect your physical outlook and also your relationship. The danger, in turn, is that you will always have a spirit that continually longs to take it out on the world. Nothing you do or have will make you happy. Your goals won't be worth following if you ever have any friends. Friends won't be worth keeping. You'll have an awkward social life. It is almost likely that an unhappy, joyless, and unfulfilled young person will never always get what he wants because when they do come his way, he's too busy rejecting the world and himself to capture the goodness coming his way. Are you happy? Are you joyful? Are you fulfilled? If you're constantly unhappy, joyless, and unfulfilled, you may just be doing one or more of the things below. 1 bad mouthing yourself if you continuously speak bad things about yourself and never see anything good in yourself you are not likely to be happy and joyful always a man will always have the fruits of his lips and the bible says by your words you will be justified and by your words you will be condemned your life will always be the product of your words why because somehow it has been observed that the words you speak psychologically affects your mood. For example, if you told yourself, I am afraid, when you are not, you will find out that minutes later or even hours then, you will start to feel fear. Why? Your thoughts attract for you what you think or speak about constantly. Your thoughts and your words are synchronized. You become whatever you think and you become whatever you say. Your thoughts, having heard your words, goes around to reconfigure your mind to give you the results you imputed into it. The more you speak negatively about yourself, the more you affect your spirit negatively, and the more unhappy, joyless, and unfulfilled you become. The better you speak about yourself, the more likely it is that your outlook will always be radiant. Number 2. Bad Mountain Orders Those who speak evil of others are not certain to be happy. You cannot give what you do not have. Because you can only give what you have, a man filled with happiness, joy, and fulfillment will tend to give the same to others, especially in his words. You don't see the good in others because you do not see the good in yourself. Hurting people hurt people. When you're hot, you'll tend to want to hurt others also unless you have been healed. The danger of speaking ill of others, even when you may be right to, is that you will not only have a reputation of being a slanderer and gossip, you will also lose your chance to attract happiness, joy and fulfillment into your life just by the kind of words you say. Good words, notwithstanding the direction you speak them, have their effect on you. Bad words also do the same. The more you speak good words about others, the happier you will become. Because you are steadily banishing negativity from yourself and attracting positivity. Number 3. Pleasing others. Do you constantly find yourself trying to please people? Do you always say yes to people when you want to say no? Do you always do things that make others happy but they mostly do not make you happy? You are not assertive and that's dangerous because you won't be happy. You won't be joyful. 
your joy will be based on people's good comments about you and it is often a result of not being emotionally whole. If you are not being assertive but being a yes man to everybody, you will observe that the happier people become at your expense, the sadder you will become. To be assertive, tell people what you want respectfully and maintain your stand. It doesn't matter if it hurts them, as long as you are truthful and sincere with them. For example, a person asks you to do a task for him. You may kindly reply, I'm sorry, I can't do that now. I have certain projects I have to complete today unfailingly. Doing that often to people, however way it may hurt them, will not only make you happy, but it will also benefit them in the long run because you will be showing them you are sincere instead of being a liar and a coward who nods yes when he means no. Number 4. Procrastination Procrastination is the habit of pushing till tomorrow what you can do today. Of all human habits, procrastination is possibly the most dangerous habit that steals your joy and wrecks your happiness. The more you procrastinate an urgent and important task you are supposed to do, the sadder you become. And more interestingly, it is often easier to never do a task when you procrastinate each once. Hence, the reason procrastination is called the thief of time. It is also the thief of destiny. Nothing steals your happiness faster than leaving till tomorrow what you should and can do today. The best place to kill procrastination in your life is to set a fixed time to start the project and stick with it. Even if you make slow progress with a task on that day, you will be encouraged to continue the following day. Number 5. Not following your dream Like it or not, we all have dreams. The young man who sits behind the counter collecting papers probably has a dream to become a musician. What happens when you do not follow your dream? It is the same thing that happens when you keep doing a job you hate. If you don't follow your dream, you won't be happy. There are almost no two ways about it. You may not make all the money following your dream. You may not even need to quit your present work or commitment to follow your dream. Just spending a few hours a day to do what you were born to do can bring you a considerable amount of returns in happiness, joy, and fulfillment. Poet James Langston Hughes wrote, Hold on to your dreams, for when dreams die, life is a broken-winged bird that cannot fly. Hold fast to your dream, for when dreams go, life is a barren field frozen with snow. When you do not leave your dream, you almost will not live a happy, joyful, and fulfilled life. Listen, no dream can be achieved without a happy heart. A merry heart even cheers your bone. If you do not have happiness, joy, and fulfillment, you are likely to live a negative life throughout your life. If you start to identify the things that fight your happiness, you may begin today to get yourself in the direction of your life's purpose. You may not own all the material possessions you want in life, just pursuing all that makes you happy, joyful and fulfilled. Still, you will have lived a better life that goes beyond the ordinary life of unhappiness and misery. Happiness, joy and fulfillment demand prices worth paying for. If you start to pay those prices today, you will find your life becoming more glorious, radiant than it has ever been. If this video inspired you, like the video and subscribe to our channel. We love you.